Hi everyone, Raku here with a new episode of Air Combat Maneuvering. Today we will take a look at the, and this is a word in my native language that I can't pronounce yet without biting my tongue off, at the Immelmann turn. The name comes from the German World War I flying ace Max Immelmann, but his connection to the maneuver is, uh, well, it's a bit controversial. But never mind, we are not here for a history lesson. The picture you are looking at right now may be a bit misleading at first sight, but actually it's a very, very good picture, not only showing the execution, but the purpose of the Immelmann turn. In case you are not familiar with the split S, the aileron roll or the loop, then please uh, watch the parts before these maneuvers, watch the parts for these maneuvers beforehand, because an Immelmann turn is nothing more than a reversed split S. Reversed meaning that this time we are performing half a loop combined with half an aileron roll. And what the picture wants to tell us with the uh, three pictured planes coming out of the half loop is not that you reproduce while going vertical, but that you can freely choose a new heading with this type of a vertical turn. We are sitting in an M2000C and we are familiar with the split S already and therefore with a loop and the aileron roll. So I'm just going to speed up a little bit. I want to go around uh, 0 0.8 Mach. Let me just gain the speed and then we will start. Okay, actually I can go on full afterburners and just go into the Immelmann while hitting 0 0.8. There it is. Let's go pulling up and I'm pulling up quite hard. Not a blackout, releasing a bit the pressure on the stick and we are inverted. Half an aileron roll and there we are. Uh, this was, well, <laughs> almost all about the Immelmann turn. Of course, I will show you how to change uh, the direction while going vertical. Last, let me just gain a bit of speed. I will gain a bit more speed because I need more time while being vertical, but not supersonic going straight up and now while hitting the 90 degrees pitch mark just roll your plane around and continue to pull on the stick and you see we changed our direction quite uh, quite hard of course I, I took my time while being vertical to to show you the direction change and to make uh, this whole process of pulling up, rolling around and pulling further a bit more smoother, you, you have to train that. And I will leave that up to you. Let's take a quick look at tag view, although there won't be anything uh, spectacular to see here. Well, ah, okay, the second Immermann will be maybe a bit spectacular if you haven't seen uh, that kind of maneuver before. Here's the beginning of the first just going vertical, pulling it right round half a loop and then half an aileron roll. And there it is, that's uh, the first one. Let me pause here for a second, turn the view a bit so you can get a better view of the profile and you see the altitude gain we, we got. Let me change the units so we can better see, uh, not position, units and we want imperial. So this is our altitude, uh, 19,300 feet. And this means we gained about 4,000 feet of altitude, starting at 15,000, pulling straight up, gaining about 4,000. Here we just continue, um, just, uh, just in full afterburner, gaining some speed. And the second one is a bit more impressive. In the first one, you can see we, we changed our heading nearly 180 degrees. The the half of our aileron roll wasn't that exact, but as said uh, in the other maneuvers, it doesn't have to be. This is these are highly dynamic maneuvers. So the second one, just going vertical, staying vertical, rolling, and continuing the loop. Of course, I. I took my time while doing that to, to show you in the cockpit, but this is quite impressive, I think. This is a nearly exact 90 degrees turn, nearly exact, and the altitude gain is, an, is quite high, also I think it's impressive. We came out at about 17,500 feet uh, while we started, 
at 19,500. This means we gained 8,000 feet of altitude. This is... this is good. Together with the 90 degrees turn, and you see how fast we, we changed the direction. Of course, if we only want to change direction by 90 degrees, uh, a break would have been better and faster, but the altitude gain is a can be a tactical advantage too if you do have the speed. And this concludes the the Immelmann turn in its uh, in its variations. Um, of course, the Mirage is is easy to handle for this kind of maneuver because of the fly-by-wire system. So whatever aircraft you you fly or want to fly, just jump in and train it. Have fun flying, have fun turning and doing Immelmanns. See you next time.